I don't want to be the fat couch potato that can't do anything with his son. So we keep trying. I mean, that's, that's what we do. We keep trying. In 2022, the Olympic Committee decided to add a new Olympic event, something more action-packed than boxing, more exciting and deadly than fencing, something with more control than the discus, the dismount from bed. Many a young athlete put their hopes and dreams on this new Olympic event, the dismount from bed. One fateful morning, Dave, practicing his dismount from bed, twisted his knee. <laughs> thus ending his Olympic dreams. Welcome to Old Dad Revival. I am Dave. It is Monday, August 15th. And you may have noticed that I'm all hot and sweaty right now um, as well. There's a reason for that. That's because I'm right now sitting in the parking lot of my physical therapist. The reason I am sitting in the physical therapist parking lot is because I am here going twice a week for physical therapy for my right knee and I, actually he's helping me with both of my knees i am going to be coming for probably 12 weeks worth of physical therapy so far i've been really good about doing the exercises at home during the day because i have exercises to do each day as well we've only been doing this for a couple of weeks and my knees are already feeling better so i can't imagine what it's going to be like after 12 weeks and if i can continue on the weight loss and better eating habit as well i will have much better food in my body to to fuel my body and to fuel the healing that's happening in my body. Dropping that weight will help as well. So everything right now as far as weight and health and diet is going in the right direction. I am nowhere near <laughs> where I would like to be. Uh, I want to be fit and thin and healthy and active and have my knees feeling well enough that I can just get up and go for a hike. I, I, I am really missing, I'm really missing the hikes. Well, I'm recording this on my GoPro instead of my phone because I have my phone in my hand right here and I'm counting down um, until I can eat because <laughs> I had a meeting, one meeting canceled, another finish early. So the, the extra hour that I thought I was going to have, um, so I'd hit 21 hours out of 20. Uh, isn't gonna happen, so I'm actually free now, and I could I could walk away from my desk and go upstairs and eat. And that, now I'm kind of debating, well, should I wait until like one second before, and then have a bite and just and and or maybe I should make meet my goal. Maybe I maybe I should meet my goal. <laughs> but it's uh, it's counting down now. All right, well, to see how this works, I actually missed it. I was gonna come upstairs and count down and and have something to eat right at the the 20 hour mark but I I missed it I'm over now by a minute so I'm I'm good I guess I can I can have a little shake to drink well today is Wednesday and <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's because I had really horrible food yesterday. We fell off the healthy wagon and uh, had Domino's pizza and sodas and uh, darn it. Anyway, I also had my next COVID booster shot yesterday. So between those two things, something has got me feeling really crappy today. Um, I've had just a uh, constant headache all day, and um, I've been on and off. I've been feeling feverish, which I, which I think I'm attributing that to the COVID shot or the booster. Although I have never had a reaction to the booster or the the COVID shots before, except for maybe some soreness in my arm. So it's interesting that I'm that I'm having a reaction now, if that's what it is. But I just wasn't feeling up to going to physical therapy today, so I did cancel my physical therapy session today. If I'm feeling um, a little bit better this afternoon or, or this evening, um, I still need to do my, my daily at-home uh, exercises for my knees. 
Uh, so I will do, uh, hopefully I'll do those as well. So now, although yesterday we did eat junk food and fell off the healthy wagon, um, today I fasted up until just a little bit ago and uh, for my, I don't know, I guess you would call it an afternoon snack because I really didn't have breakfast or lunch. Um, I had a tomato sandwich on a whole wheat bread and um, I did have butter on it, but I used um, vegan butter. So uh, not as healthy as it could have been, but um, much better than McDonald's or Domino's or Taco Bell. Sometimes you just gotta drive with the windows down and let the air blow. If I wanna keep talking, I probably should close the windows. My hair is absolutely crazy. Uh, it is nice to have the windows down once in a while and just drive with the windows down. Now this is a, a little bit of a Friday fitness. So one of the things that I wanted to do on our channel with the new, uh, with the new ideas or the new thoughts that I have on Old Dad Revival is to do some fitness updates and some you know, some health updates about the the revival part of Old Dad Revival. And I don't. I think I covered it in the last video. No, I'm, I'm sure I didn't in the last video. Um, for the most part, I'm healthy. I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm a healthy guy. There's a couple of things that, uh, that are wrong with me. One is I have struggled with my weight my entire life. And right now, I'm, I'm not at the heaviest that I have ever been. I'm slightly below that, but I'm still way, way overweight. With that, comes other issues, right? When you're overweight, there are other things that happen. So for me, one of the other things that has happened is my knees. I have a lot of problems with my knees. And for quite a while, as my knees got worse, um, I have my my hiking ability and my just go, getting out and walking, all of that has gone way down. And I have participated in those activities less and less, which of course then doesn't help my weight or my stamina or my fitness level at all. I had been considering and, you know, thinking I probably need to go to the doctor, have my knees looked at, and I need, you know, need to get back on the bandwagon of, of eating healthier and, and trying to be more fit. And those were thoughts. They were not actions. However, the universe in its infinite wisdom decided to give me a little nudge. <laughs> But I was still a little bit stubborn. Uh, decided I'm going to give it some time. I made my way downstairs and talked to Anne and and uh, let her know kind of what was happening. And she's right away like, "Okay, let's go to urgent care." And I'm like, "Give me some time. Let me rest. Let me sit for a little bit. You know, see how it works out. See if it was just you know me twisting something or you know what, what's going on." And it got slightly better but not to the point where I was comfortable saying I didn't actually do something to my knee. And so later, you know, by the afternoon of that day, we headed off to urgent care to the orthopedic urgent care and had my knee looked at. Now the official diagnosis was a torn meniscus. However, when I went to the urgent care, they discovered that basically I have no cartilage left in my knees. Now I've known that my knees were getting bad. I, I have talked about that in, in previous videos and as we're hiking, I'm always slow and I just kind of chug my way along and sometimes I need to take uh, some over-the-counter pain medication because my knees are bothering me. And honestly, I haven't wanted to go to the doctor because I've been afraid that they're gonna tell me it's time to replace my knees. Now. Luckily, that isn't the case. What uh, the doctor and the physical therapist are telling me is that I probably have 10 or 15 more years if I can drop the weight and if I can get some exercise and strengthen up the, the rest of the muscles and everything around my knees. And so that's what we're working on right now. Between me pedaling and the electric assist, we're actually going up this hill pretty easily. I'm 
I am very pleasantly surprised that it's able to move my fat butt up this hill. <laughs> so, and uh, the pedaling isn't too bad. What are we doing? What's our mission? To stop the tutor of fart class. Back up and use our powers in a combination? To stop the fart clouds? I'm under the fart nader. You already did it. Can't hold on much longer. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to Florida. Hold on, hold on, Thor. You can do it. Oh no! 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 Oh